Compton. Oh. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm running a little bit late this evening. Why don't you come in? Uh, my name is Joellen Smallwood from Thomas Tinkerton's Fine Jewelry in Shreveport. Of course. Thank you for driving all the way out here tonight, Mrs. Smallwood. Oh, it's Miss. Uh, well, it was Mrs. Smallwood until very recently. That's my husband's name, Smallwood. I would go back to my maiden name, which is Bushy, but people always made fun of it. And, well, Smallwood's a better name for me professionally. <laughs> but I don't mind telling you that my husband, Mr. Smallwood, certainly lived up to his name. <laughs> oh, forgive me. That was very crude. I'm a little nervous. I am not vampophobic by any means, but you are my first that I've ever actually met. I've seen him on TV, of course. Well, there's no need to be nervous. Should we have a look at what you brought me? Uh, don't you want to get dressed? Oh, as I said, I am running a little bit late, if it doesn't bother you. Oh! Not at all. <laughs> Doesn't bother me at all. Let's get down to it. <laughs> I appreciate this. It's not possible for me to visit during normal business hours. Please. This is what I do. It's all about pleasing the client. Whatever it takes. I have some real gems here. In white gold. Rose gold. Platinum, and uh, even this uh, antique stunner in sterling silver. No silver. Okay. Well, which of these catches your eye? Which, by the way, your eyes are the most lovely shade of blue. Is it a vampire thing, or were your eyes always that color? My intended is blonde, so I was thinking perhaps yellow gold would suit her best. Well, I certainly don't wear a size six, but if you'd like to try slipping that little beauty on my pinky finger... <gasps> Jam it. <laughs> Just to imagine what it will feel like. Mrs. Smallwood. What exactly are you hoping to accomplish this evening? I am hoping that you'll ravish me right here on this velvet couch and take me gently, but not too gently, the way a pirate would. Well, that is not going to happen. Please? No. I am a one-woman man and a one-human vampire. Well, God damn it. I can't offer you a different scenario, one that might satisfy your desires founded as they are on your need to sexually objectify me based on what I am, which is, frankly, a little insulting. Just tell me what you want, Daddy. How about once I choose a ring, you will offer to sell it to me at cost? That'll get me in trouble. Which I think is only appropriate. 